Hi and welcome. In this fourth part of the series of the SAP Activate Project Manager certification called the Agile Delivery Approach, we would build upon what we have learned thus far on the Agile concept in relation to the SAP Activate methodology. We would discuss the sprint cycles during the realize phase of the project and touch on the testing activities that are carried out during this phase. In addition, we'll shed light on the cutover activities to be completed using sprints during the deploy phase of the deployment. A number of key concepts to be covered include release planning, the sprint cycle as well as testing and deployment. Come along. What is release planning? Release planning is a six-step process involving multiple stakeholders from business as well as from the client IT unit. During this process, business owners, through the product owners, define the product backlog and prioritize the user stories based on its business value. It is important that the Scrum team must identify any other technical dependencies to complete the sprint. These dependencies, after discussions with the product owners, will also become part of the product backlog. After the dependencies are identified, there would be an estimation and completion of the work to be done. Upon completion of the work, the product owner, in partnership with the business owners, will review the work, provide feedback, and either approve or reject the sprint. The Scrum team, finally, will create the working product release. At the beginning of this process, the team reviews the three release constraints namely, scope, budget, and dates, and updates them, if necessary. The three constraints will dictate the release plan and will vary based on the team's level of flexibility. The initial release plan often happens based on the fixed scope during the proposal phase, and the team comes up with the high-level dates and budget. In the explore phase of the project, the product backlog is ready with prioritized user stories and constraints are known. The team completes the release planning and creates a list of product backlog items, known as a sprint map. The six steps in release planning are, firstly, define product backlog. This is where the team will identify the required business capabilities in the solution and any additional configuration, extension, or integration. After that, the team prioritizes product backlog as a second step and thirdly, carry out the analysis of technical dependencies. It is important that the development team identifies the technical dependencies to ensure that the user story is ready per the definition of ready and deliver per the definition of done. The fourth step is the estimation of product backlog. Here, the Scrum team must provide the effort required to complete the user stories. Estimate of efforts can be done as an activity in in-person days or hours. At the fifth step, there is a need to complete requirements documented in the product backlog, a list of user stories prioritized by the business value and team velocity. The product owner decides the content of the release. The completion of the release planning is the final step. It's important to run the realize phase of the project in iterations. If you recall, in an earlier video, we talked about the ceremonies necessary during the sprint lifecycle. It's strongly recommended that as part of the cycle you review the scrum board, sprint ceremonies, and the product backlog refinement. It's important to understand that the sprints use the sprint backlog, which is defined by the product owner. The development team commits to deliver the sprint backlog at the end of each sprint. The scrum team, however, estimates the sprint backlog. Let's talk about testing and deployment. There are several testing activities involved in an agile project. These tests also occur in different environments depending on the phase of the project. Every project differs and so does the test strategy, which is delivered in the explore phase of the project, reviewed by the functional and technical teams, and approved by the test manager, project manager, and client manager. In some projects, for example, in the realize phase, the project team might carry out unit testing during the build and the integration sprint in the development DEV, environment. On the other hand, string testing might be executed during the firm up sprint in the quality assurance QA, system environment. User acceptance testing UAT, in the QA system environment might follow integration testing. The test strategy will identify the data migration and performance testing requirements including the environment and how the testing data will be created and updated as well as the systems. The cutover plan becomes very important as you approach deployment. A cutover plan is a list of detailed tasks in a specific sequence to migrate the data, build the production, prod, environment, and decommission the legacy system. Every project has its own cutover requirements such as the need for mock cutovers to validate the cutover plan. Usually at this stage, the new system is ready with all the required business functionalities on the latest and greatest technology available today. However, the cutover plan, prepared during the prepare phase and fine-tuned during the realize phase, 
may make or break the new system. Therefore, it's important that you understand the cutover planning in detail. It is common practice to have a mock cutover and a final cutover. The mock cutover allows a practice cutover to test the effectiveness of the cutover plan. The final cutover on the other hand allows the team follow the cutover plan and complete the cutover to the prod environment. SAFE is the acronym for Scaled Agile Framework. SAFE helps large and complex organizations achieve the benefits of the Agile Framework by scaling the concept and implementing it. There are seven core competencies, four core values and ten immutable principles of SAFE. Establishing team and technical agility, the first of the seven core competencies, teaches you to form the cross-functional, self-organizing agile team. SAFE also ensures that quality is an integral part of the process and organizes agile release trains, arts, around the flow of value. Arts are cross-functional teams that are synchronized on a common cadence to deliver program increments based on the single program backlog. We have come to the end of the video on the Agile Delivery Approach. In this video we enhanced our knowledge on release planning, testing and deployment as well as cutover activities. In the next video, we would get an overview of the work streams in SAP Activate. Do please let me know in the comment section what you think about the video and what would like to see or questions you would like answered. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Also, please remember to turn on notifications so you can know when the next video drops.